it's okay. Does this work? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Hi, can you make a short presentation about your background? About our movie? Uh, background. Oh, background. Okay. Yeah. So, my name is Daryl Wine. This is Gerard Haynes. And uh, my background is mostly in filmmaking and writing and directing my own independent films. I created a production company with my lovely wife and partner, Zoe Lister Jones, called Mr. Lister Films. I went to school at NYU for acting, and then subsequently I moved into filmmaking and have made a few features since then. Some of them uh, called uh, Breaking Upwards is the first film that I made. It was at a South by Southwest Film Festival, and uh, IFC Films released that. And then I made a movie called Lola Versus for Fox Searchlight, Greta Gerwig and Zoe Lister Jones and Deborah Winger and Bill Pullman. And then I made a political thriller called Consumed, which is where I met this lovely gentleman. Yeah, I'm uh, Gerard Haynes, uh, actor, uh, now accredited uh, producer, co-writer of this film we just made. Uh, called Blueprint. Blueprint. <laughs> Blueprint. Uh, Blueprint. Check that out. Um, yeah, I was an athlete at first, and six years ago I made a transition into acting, uh, theater, uh, as well as film. So yeah, that's it. Just trying to continue to, to have longevity in this uh, entertainment business. What can you tell about the origin of this movie? The origin of this movie? Well, we met on my last film, Consumed, and I, I fell in love with, with this guy. Uh, I, I thought he had an amazing presence, uh, personality, charisma, and, and depth. <clears throat> most importantly, and I wanted to find something to do with him. I just didn't know what, and we stayed in touch. He would come out to L.A. Uh, from Chicago, and we got to talking about different ideas. And you know, I uh, from from that uh, around that time, uh, we started to see uh, all of these police shootings happening. Obviously, they've been happening for for decades. But because of social media, we're just seeing them so much more up close and personal. And there were a few that really hit me. Um, and, you know, I, I am a white, privileged man. Uh, and so I look at, I see it happening, and my heart just breaks. It's, it's devastating to see anybody who, who gets killed. Um, but I could see this systemic racism and oppression that was happening so often that I felt like I, as a filmmaker, wanted to do something. And that's when I called Gerard and I was like, listen, now's the time. I think we should collaborate on a story together and I think it should be loosely based on your real life because of all the experiences that he had had. And I'll let, I'll let Gerard jump in. And uh, yeah, up. yeah, we just, like you said, we just uh, used it as a template and um, we wanted to use our artistry as a way to speak to the injustices between us and law enforcement. And, how people are affected uh, by it, immunity. Uh, we follow this young man around and see how he's affected uh, uh, because of that after the, after the aftermath of losing his uh, best friend to uh, the injustice from law enforcement. So that's all. It's just uh, showing the humanity and showing how people are affected when something tragic happens. Can you talk a little about your main casting? Main casting? Yeah. Well, it was always this guy right yeah, here. Yeah, I know. But um, that was over actors. So. Yeah, movie. I yeah. mean, for a moment I was going to step in, but... No, 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 uh, the, yeah. the cast is amazing. Uh, yeah. yes. Ty Davis, who plays uh, my love interest, she's amazing. And Shanaysia Davis, who plays uh, Reggie's mother. Who's also uh, in Consumed. Uh, it's also okay. in, both of those, yeah, yeah. Both of those are, are Consumed. And um, uh, the rest of everybody else is, is family and friends. My mother, is, that plays my mother, she's my real mother. My daughter is my real daughter. Ty's daughter is her real daughter. Uh, and just family, a bunch of family and friends that we uh, implemented to make this thing work. Yeah, we were, tr we were trying to have it feel as, as authentic and real as possible. And, um, and so having real people <clears throat> acting, you know, sometimes some of them for the first time gave it that truth uh, that we were searching for. So it was, it, was an amazing, it was an amazing cast to get to work with. For you both, what was the most difficult scene to, 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 to turn or to write? Difficult scene. Yeah. We love making scenes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, it's not easy telling this type of story, but uh, uh, I will say Daryl was a pro. Um, he was sensitive to, to the issue. Uh, he didn't try to 
uh, make up a, a narrative. He, he allowed everyone to uh, bring in their experiences and things like that. So it made it easy, man, because everybody worked together collaboratively to, to tell a story. So it's a tough story to tell overall. I don't think one is more tough than the other. The story itself is shouldn't be, we shouldn't have to make it. What were you anticipating in terms of reaction to this film? To open the eyes of the public? In terms of a reaction for this film, yes. you know, we, we first and foremost just want people to see it and we hope that people will empathize with Gerard's character's plight in the story, you know. Um, and hopefully this will be change making. You know, we want this film to awaken people to to these sad realities that just continue to happen day in and day out. We see these police shootings and there's people behind them. It's not just in the headlines, that the way that we see it uh, sensationalized a lot of the time and stereotypes, you know, and that's the humanity is what we really are trying to illuminate and the message that we hope people take away with it, that these are human beings, we're all human beings, we should all be treated equally and racism needs to come to an end and oppression against minorities and underprivileged people needs to come to an end. Before you came to Deauville, what did you know about this festival? Oh, well, <laughs> uh, we, I, I had seen uh, a few other friends' films come okay. to Deauville and knew that it was a prestigious festival in a beautiful city. And uh, so, yeah, once, once, once they accepted us, it's just, <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> exactly. Nice. Uh, are there French actors who like to turn with or to work with for your both? French actors? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Which one? <laughs> uh, I will say this. Uh, Gerard? Yeah. 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 Philippe. Philippe, yeah. Philippe? Yeah. Yeah, he's, of course, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> nice and, and, of course, the beautiful French ladies. <laughs> all of them. All of them. <laughs> what movie have you seen lately that you like it? I love Get Out. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, we're talking Me about, too. we just yeah. made a film about race. Yeah. Yes. But I think Jordan Peele did a, <laughs> you know, a, made a masterpiece. Yes, excellent. Uh, it was so clever and so deep. And it was such a smart film to attract a large audience to get yes. to think about race in an entirely different way. And my last question, what can you tell about your next project? New movie? New... Ah, uh, well, first and foremost, uh, Blueprint right now, we're just focusing on making sure we get up with you know, some distribution and everything like that. Okay. That's the focus right now. But as far as next projects, uh, I'm, doing, I'm do going back to do some theater this fall at uh, Yale University in New Haven. Uh, Richard Wright's Native Son, adapted by Nami Kelly, directed by some Surrette Scott. So I'll be there for a few months, <laughs> November through December. Yeah, and yeah, I'm just uh, just finishing up this film. Yes, nice. So it always takes time to write and get a new film off the ground. So I'm in those early stages of you know thinking about ideas. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you.